Poker Tour. The biggest games, the greatest players, and the largest payouts on the planet. The WPT is a series of international high-stakes poker tournaments that can turn amateur players into millionaires and make professionals into superstars. With millions of dollars on the line, it's time for these four players to live the dream of fame, fortune, and the one thing money can't buy, a WPT title. Tonight on the World Poker Tour. From Los Angeles and the world-famous Bicycle Casino, tonight we bring you the final table of the Legends of Poker. Hi, everyone. I'm Mike Sexton, along with Vince Van Patten, and welcome to the WPT. Tonight, right here at the Bicycle Casino, one of these players is going to walk away with a million-dollar first-place prize and a coveted WPT title. Now, the Legends of Poker is well underway, but in case you missed some of the action, here's some highlights to get you up to speed. The Jack of Diamonds comes on the river, and Sam's fans are going crazy here. That's going to do it. Mike Kriskanko out in sixth place. Every now and then I get it. Todd Terry looking disgusted. And there's the slow roll, and you see the expression on Kevin's face. What could take you so long to call with that hand? I can't believe it. Come on, man. I call. We've got a race situation. And here's the flop. Oh, a oh. seven right in the door. So that's going to do it for the 21-year-old. He's going to be out in fifth place. Toto Leonidas in great shape to double up here against the chip leader. And a four comes off. So Toto pumps the fist. He's doubled up. And Vince, they better be careful. He can be very dangerous. Well, we started out five days ago with 279 players, each who put up 10,000 in cold hard cash to enter this tournament. We're now down to our final four players. Now on the short stack tonight is a seasoned pro, Toto Leonitas. This is only his first WPT final table and his 63rd attempt. Next up the chip ladder is Todd Terry. He's got a math degree from Harvard, a law degree from NYU, yet here he is playing cards and living the dream. And Vince in seat four is one of your neighbors from Malibu, Pralad Friedman. He's been riding the poker waves for many years now. He's a very impressive player. Well, he's also a vegetarian, drives a Prius straight from the commune. But the man to beat is Kevin Schaffel. He came into this table with the chip lead and has continued to build upon that. Plus, he looks a little like a prison guard. Well, that million-dollar first-place prize and that coveted WPT title is still up for grabs. Okay, the play is about to start up again, so let's go watch him gamble. Now he's at 10,000, blinds are 30 and 60,000. Action's going to Toto Leonidas, the former casino employee, bartender at the casino, now going after a million bucks. Now, Toto, a tough professional player out of the L.A. area. He's down to King 7 here and lays it down. Oh, yep, and now the math whiz out of Harvard. Todd Terry with a king deuce of hearts and the button. Raise. And he's going to raise because he's in position. Comes in for 150000 Into the chip leader, Kevin Schaffel. Out of Miami. He's got a King Jack of Diamonds. Yep, he's got Kojak. And he's going to make the call. Yes, he is. Pranon can see that there's 400,000 out there. Only going to cost him 90,000 to call, meaning he's getting good pot odds, but his problem is he doesn't have a hand. Yep, not very good. 10 3. He goes away. So King Deuce up against King Jack. There you see former WPT Player of the Year, Jonathan Little, as well as another good poker player. Brian Devonshire, they're here to watch Todd Terry try to take down this title. Uh, the flop comes up queen, 10, 8, open, ended here for Kevin Schaffel, but they both check. Nothing hitting for Todd. Well, the nine of hearts comes off, the joker Ouch. for Kevin Schaffel. He's got the nuts, the best hand possible right now, the king high straight. Now, what is the 51-year-old former male marketer going to do here? Yeah, he was in direct marketing for 30 years. That's the junk mail the mailman brings us, Vince. You know, I don't think I like him anymore. <laughs> and he leads out, Vince. That's 300,000, yeah. He doesn't check it. Well, this is interesting because Todd has a four flush, four hearts. And there you see some of Kevin's friends. Those guys are all good poker players and pretty good golfers in their own right. Motley crew, that was. Todd, who has a degree in applied mathematics from Harvard. Trying to compute this situation. A little overqualified, if you ask me. For an advanced math whiz, 
He should recognize her 700,000 in the pot. Going to cost him 300,000 to make the call. He's about a four and a half to one underdog to win it and catching a heart. So it doesn't add up in terms of pot odds. Well, maybe you're right about that, but he's going to call. You know what? I want to see his degrees. I don't buy this whole math whiz thing now. Well, now we're going into implied odds, Vince, meaning how much can you win if you hit your heart ah. here? I think he can win a lot of chips from Kevin. Let's see if that happens. Let's see if he gets lucky. He needs to hit a heart. Nope. Five of diamonds comes off. So Kevin looks over, sees how many chips he's got. A million dollars in the pot right now. Now, here's a case that you should know. Probably the only way you're going to get cold is if your opponent's got a jack in his hand, if he's got a straight. So here, I believe you're supposed to make a very big bet at this pot, figuring you can't get cold unless he's got a straight. And if he's got one, you can take all his chips. And Todd does lay it down, but when you got called, you thought your opponent might have a straight there. That's what you're hoping for when you have a higher straight. Well, that's a good point. That's the kind of time you can stick it all out there, because the guy has to be committed. If he has a jack, he's going to call no matter what. So a little missed opportunity, perhaps. Kevin taking the pot. We'll come back with more action on the World Poker Tour. To win a WPT title would be an amazing accomplishment. It's never going to get old playing for a million dollars. I don't care what anybody says. Uh, a million still goes a long way. Yes, I do consider myself a math guy. I did undergraduate at Harvard. I have an applied math degree from there and law school at NYU. Some lawyers have people skills, but others don't. But I don't know. I mean, I think people skills are somewhat overrated at the poker table. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We're at the Bicycle Casino where four players remain. One after over a million dollars here tonight. I'll tell you what's not overrated at the poker table. That's catching cards. And these guys <laughs> are looking to catch some right now and take down this million dollar first place prize. Four players left. And for the first time in a long time, we've got four guys left over the age of 30. Generally, we're swamped with these young 20-something year old Vince. All right, well, the math was Todd Terry going out. And now our chip leader, Kevin, he's got 44 midlife crises. And he puts the dog on his cards. And if he hadn't been with us, that means he's going to play the pot. And DD is with the two fours. He makes it 175,000 to go. Yeah, he's got a good position. He's on the button. Oh. Last to act on. Look at that. Prahlad has picked up the best hand possible. Two aces in the small blind. And the chip leader has raised it on the button. It's what you dream about. And you are feeling so good right now. There's Dee Friedman. It's Prahlad's wife. Also a phenomenal poker player in her own right. Big hand for... Prahlad, and he's going to move it up to 450,000 to go. Yep, comes over the top with the two aces. Toto now going to stare down at a pair of deuces. Well, if deuces were wild, he'd be in pretty good shape here, but you're not going to call a raise and a re-raise with two deuces, especially when it's going to take about all your chips to get them in there, and you're going to get cold. Toto taking his time here. I bet he's only got 900,000 in chips. It's 450,000 to him. Pot odds of over three to one. If he makes an all-in bet, obviously he's going to get cold here. So I can't see how you can get involved right here with the raise and re-raise in front of you. It's just a simple laydown. He finally does lay it down, but he did so in agony. Back to Kevin, who's got the fours. Well, Kevin Shaffle staring over at Prolod's chip stack. These are the two chip leaders. Better be real careful about clashing with him right now, or we would have a massive new chip leader, and it wouldn't be Kevin Schaffel. There's Mark Friedman, Prolid's dad, also a vegetarian, also drives a Prius, also a good poker player. Kevin, a scratch golfer. That's more impressive than his poker plan to me, but he better be real careful here. He's going to double bogey this hole. He lays the hand down, and wisely so. Well, a good lay down by Kevin there. So Prahlad not quite getting the action he wanted, but he'll take that pot. Well, the man from Malibu has caught the biggest hand so far at this final table. Let's see if he can keep it up. Yeah, very patient player, very solid. 
Prahlad quickly folding. Now Toto Leonidis with a, an uneventful six-deuce off suit. He's starting to milk it out here, though, Mike. Well, starting to frustrate the players a little, and as long as he takes the act every time on his hand, here's a case that should be just an instant muck. And now Todd Terry with a queen nine of spades all says all in. And he is going all in here for a million dollars. Kevin lays it down. He can't call with just a 7-4. He knew mathematically his hand was a favorite over two random cards, so why not move in? Okay, right now, one of Todd's friends, poker pro Brian Devonshire, is standing by. Well, I mean, I really like Todd, and I've known Todd for a while. He's super smart theory-wise. He's a, you know, super intelligent thinking player. Former Harvard kid and ridiculously intelligent, and generally whenever people argue about what the best thing to do in poker is and Todd says something, everyone's like, Todd wins. He's right. <laughs> well, Brian Devishire, former runner-up out here on the World Poker Tour, here tonight to root his buddy Todd Terry to the victory stand. I'm getting the feeling that he's intelligent. <laughs> I'm all in. All right, he's pushed it with King-10 all in again. Kevin out. And as they say, the all-in bet works every time but once in poker. A lot with King-9 of clubs won't call. Wow. How much you have there, Todd? And Toto asking him how much he's got. A little more than you. I just wish I could call this one. I'm 50-50 right now. Haven't looked yet, though. <laughs> now, Toto hadn't looked and said he's 50 50. He could win it or he couldn't. I guess that's his math. <laughs> wow. Yeah, one good one. He didn't go to the same class as Todd did at Harvard. Well, and he does have a gambling style hand, especially for a guy like Toto. He stands up and is. No, he's not standing up. He's crotching up or something. Well, you're right. It's like a half sit up. Oh, no. Toto, don't hurt yourself, okay? Get back in the seat. You ain't going nowhere. I'll tell you, Vince. This is his 63rd WPT event, the first time he's made the final table, so he's trying to make the most of it. I can see that. Going for as much air time as possible. But you can't ever jump up to the table, halfway up in the seat, crotch yourself over it like that, and then fold. <laughs> you can't do that. There, there should be a law About 1 .1. against that 1 .1. in poker. All right, good. If you're going to put the money in, fine. You can get up like that if you're going to put money in. If you don't, just save it. Well, Toto. we've seen him count this out before, and he hasn't called. I'm feeling like gambling here. Oh, boy. That would be a first. I mean, it would be a first at this table, but believe me, I've played plenty of cash games with this guy. He's not afraid to gamble. Remember a few years back when the tour was just coming out, poker players like to consider themselves non-gamblers, and now those non-gamblers are broke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, might fall the best time here. Well, Toto's got the queen jack here. Well, when you pick your cards up like that, you're not going to play the pot. He does turn them face up so they can see that he laid that hand down. Yep, so a good little rush here by Todd Terry. That might be the best hand. What do you think, Todd? I don't know. Four players remain going after a major title. We're coming back with more on the World Poker Tour. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. At first, when I was working at the casino, I worked for like about two years and I never play at all. I used to start the, as a food server and then uh, I quit when I uh, realized that there's really a skills on poker. I know I can do it, I know I'm good at it, and I know I'm good in cards. The life of Toto Leonidas. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. Four players remain. Vince, you gotta admire a guy that started out as a food server, now plays in high stakes cash games, and playing out here on the World Poker Tour tonight with a shot to win a million bucks. All right, the blinds are going up to 40 and 80,000. To the money pit we go. Action on Toto. Well, Vince, he's on the short stack. Only got about 10 big blinds here, and you pick up a hand like Ace Five of Diamonds, you're almost forced and committed to put them all out there. I'm all in. Toto doing just that. He understands he's still got just enough chips to frighten opponents away with marginal hands. He's right, ace five of diamonds. He has plunged ahead. Math guy Todd Terry going out. Chip leader Kevin won't play an eight five. Round a big blind. Ronald Friedman. Now this is a hand that you're going to contemplate possibly 